We ended last video as rank 7 on the League Points leaderboards with 67,220 points. In today's video, I'm going to get over the 70,000 threshold, get a lot of Barrows, TOB and Sepulchre completion done, as well as explain to you guys whether or not it is possible for me to get rank 1. Let's get into it. Okay, really scraping the bottom of the barrel for some smithing XP, but we've just gotten ourselves to 25 mil smithing. Probably don't have to do any more smithing ever again. Could have waited to get more drops from Todd, but I just want to get the 250 points. Now, that puts us up to 67,570 points. Very nice amount of points. Still at rank 7, however, but we have, like, we're putting a little bit of distance between us and our competition right now. And this, my friends, is the last skill we get to 25 mil XP. We are now base 25 mils, reaching 25 million herb lore for 250 points putting me at 67,820 points where you're done skilling for the rest of the league. It is all PVM from here on out. Actually, that's a lie. I have to go finish the Polker, which is a bunch more agility XP. And I do have to do a Volcanic Mine uh, for an Ash Covered Tome. So that is a little bit more mining XP, I think. Actually, I think there's a way to get points without mining at all. So maybe not, but those are the only like really two skilling related things I have to do. Then it's just Taub, Nightmare. I have to finish Sire, uh, finish Barrows. And then, I think I'm done with the game, to be honest. And this is Clue Scroll, so yeah, we're chilling. Okay, my final Volcanic Mine game. Shout out Wooks for teaching me how to boost points without even doing the Volcanic Mine. And by teach me, I mean I watch this video. Just need to buy ourselves an Ash-Covered Tome, which is that. And that is a hard task. 100 points. One of the last hard tasks that we can actually do. 67,920 points now. Okay, so I have around 150 Eclectics left, so I just thought I'm gonna go stack up as many medium caskets as I can. There's not a whole lot, but I just wanted to see if I could get myself Ranger Boots, because it's another 100 points, and it's quicker than doing anything else. We only managed to get 5 caskets out of that, so we're just gonna open them now. Uh, no Ranger Boots. No Ranger Boots. Bando Smiter. No Ranger Boots. And no Ranger Boots, unfortunately. So no points from that, but we're gonna do a bunch of medium tasks eventually anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay, had some clues to do anyway, so hard casket for Armadale Dehead Body, nice, and nothing really else at all. Easy, ca easy casket got us gothic robe legs, interesting. Okay, so something I didn't realize I had was a full ancient armor set, which is a task to get equip a full god rune set. That puts me over 68,000 points for the first time. Very, very nice. That task completion gets us to 369 kills, 131 more kills for these 250 points. Okay, that's 391kc, and I just got another Unsired. We don't actually need anything from this, but I'd love to get an Abyssal Head just for my Slayer Helm to make it look cool, so let's go see what it is. Okay, uh, a Whip would be cool too, I guess, because I don't have any more Whips. Uh, no, I have the one Whip. I don't I don't really care what I get, to be honest. Let's just see what we do get. Okay, another Bludgeon, please. Almost a, almost a third Bludgeon. For a 3kc, got another Unsired. We have less than 100 kill count to go now. Don't really care what we get from it. Probably going to complete our second Bludgeon, but it would be cool to get anything else. What are we getting ourselves today? A bludgeon accent, okay, and that we have two bludgeons now. What? I just got a toss for Trailblazer Boon, and it just gave me 250 points. I don't even know what that is. What? I'm so confused. I guess I just got a free 250 points because they messed up something to do with the Slayer Tusk thing? I have no idea, but I'll take a free 250 points whenever I can get them. KC 420 to another Unsired. Once again, we don't actually need anything from these, but they are just cool to go look at what we get. And if we get an Abyssal Head, we get a cool new helmet, so I'm happy with that if you do get it. That's Unsired. Probably another Bludgeon piece for a third. Oh, we got another Dagger. Cool. That doesn't help us at all. We already have one. We already got the points for it, but it's cool, I guess. Okay, KC 441, another Unsired. I just want this Abyssal Head, man. Like, stop giving me useless shit. All right, let's cash this in. You place the Unsired. Another bludgeon piece, we're on our way to our third bludgeon. Another task done, only 200, 200, only 26 kills more to do. And that is defeating Sire 500 times for 250 points, putting me to 68,520 points. Let's go. 300 cannonballs from that as well, 500 Sire done, don't have to come back here ever again because we got all the drops. We needed 68,520 points now. Dark's plate body. I don't think I have that yet. I think. Oh no, I do think I have that. Um, we'll go check. Yeah, we do already have it. And we have five Dark's helms. Jesus Christ, bro! I just got back to back Dark's plate bodies, and I have that already. Arms are bottom. That's my third arms are bottom. Still don't have a top. We're just getting dupes. Did I not get it? Oh, okay. It's there. It is. Carol's leather top. I wonder if I have that or. I don't. Okay, that's another set completed. I now have a K top, so that's 18 out of 24 items I assume I have. Maybe I'll just- yeah, it is. Maybe I'll just bring the log with me instead of bringing the item. So I just need an Aram's rope top, Torag's plate body, Torag's hammer, Varag's flail, 
Drex, Brassard, and the DH legs. I'll just bring the log with me. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Guthans Hell, I'm pretty sure we already have that because Guthans was the full set we completed, if I'm not mistaken. Am I mistaken? I'm not mistaken. Darks, Great Axe, do we already have that? I feel like we do as well, because if we were just looking at our set, yeah, we need the legs is what we need. Guthans Plate Body. Darks, Great Axe, already got that. Korag's Plate Body on KC197, is that new? 19 out of 25, it is new, nice, nice. Let's go, that's my Aram set completed, the Arams are up top. Um, back to back items, 198 KC. Look at my collection log, 20 out of 24 now. Torax plate legs, fairly sure we already have the full Torax set. Um, no, we already have four sets of Torax. We need the hammers, bro. How am I forgetting what items I need? Torax Great Axe, 202 KC. And that is a Carol's Crossbow. We already have that, though, I'm fairly sure. Oh my god, I just got a Verax Helm and Dorax Helm. Bro, I just got Verax Brassard and Torax Helm in one, or Torax Hammers in one thingy majiggy. That's 22 out of uh, 20, 24 now. That's two items that I needed in one chest. I'm pretty sure it was a triple chest. I have no idea. Yeah, it was a triple chest. I got a Verax Helm, too. That's crazy. Another Verax Flail. Wait, a Verax Flail is one of my last items. Now all I need is the Darax Plate Legs. I'm 23 out of 25 at 229kc. I can just see myself going dry for the Plate Legs now. Aram's Hood. Okay, another Aram Staff. Don't need that, but I was expecting some duplicates. Torax Helm right after. Damn. I just got a double chest of Carol's Top and Torax Plate Legs, unfortunately. Verax Plate Skirt, 265kc. Still 23 out of 24 chasing that Darax Plate Legs. This is what the dupes are looking like. Back to back loots, maybe back to back to back, I don't know, but Carol's Coif. Another Verax Flail, 280 kill count now, coming close to 300. Probably gonna be here a while. Carol's Crossbow at 291 KC. 302 KC, and we got ourselves a Guthans War Spear. Still chasing this Darox Plate Legs. This is what the thingy are looking like right now. Barrow's Chest? Yeah, we got a bunch of dupes. Torax Plate Legs, not the correct Plate Legs. And that is another Torax Helm, unfortunately. Yo, let's go! 323kc right after that Torx plate legs. I finally got the Darox plate legs. I need to go equip every single set now, and that should give me 250 points. I'm very happy with that system update in 28 minutes as well, but this gives us our 250 points. Let's get every set. Okay, let's speed equip every set real quick. Da, 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 da. Oh no, I've done it wrong. Oh no, I messed up the whole thing. What happens if I don't get this right because I'm just too stupid to equip Barrow sets? Surely I've done it. I think I have. Have I messed it up? Alright, let's do that again. Um, oh my god, I got the helms messed up. I think. Okay, there, there I go. Equip every Barra's Armor set. That was like an IQ test, and I just failed it very badly. But 68,770 points. Let's go. This 20 minute or so video did take me around 150 in-game hours to make. So if you guys are enjoying the content and you're not already subscribed, please consider it. It's up to you guys, but it does also mean you guys never miss a future episode. And if you want to go a further way to support me, you can like the video or leave a comment. Just helps me out there in the YouTube algorithm, but of course it is optional. Now, we are moving on to the Sepulcher in-game. The screen is quite disgusting with all the screen markers, and there's a lot of points to get here as tasks. So we're going to try and get some completions, try and get the time tasks, and get all the loot. I almost got the 8 minute, right? Yeah? I fucked, uh, fucked one thing up, like, recently. That's probably it. I'm happy with that. Bro, this is harder than a sub fucking 50 Inferno. I don't know. We have finally gotten ourselves. Do we, can we get the ring on this too? We have finally gotten ourselves the sub 8 minute. I think this is like 743. Unfortunately, some sound fees here. But yeah, the 200, this is only a 100 point task. The 250 point task is to do that in sub 6 minutes 30. And it's only worth 250. Some, uh, some great balancing of the video game right here. But there we go. There's 100 points for completing the Sepulchre in 8 minutes. New personal best of 743. We're now at 68,870 points. That could have been quicker, but we fucked up a little bit. Let's go. So I actually need 400 of these marks to buy all the tools, which is a 100 point task, but I will get the tokens just while I'm like practicing for the speed run and while I'm going for the ring regardless. So I'm going to use these 250 points on the hallowed ring. I think it costs 250 points. This doesn't count towards the task of getting these four tools or whatever, but it does help actually getting the six minute 30. So I'm going to wear it for all these runs. All right, I woke up and I got a pretty comfortable completion, just over eight minutes, I feel like, for a room plate body. I'm happy with that. We're still nowhere close to the speed run time, but we're getting constant completions and that's what I need. Okay, this was actually an extremely quick time. I messed up loads and I still got below eight minutes, I think. I wanna see what my floor five time was because I messed up a bunch on floor five. I'm pretty sure at some point I was on pace for, yeah, 743, run off my PB. 
And that was a 3 minute 24, 5. Floor 4 was 20 seconds too long compared to what I could get. Yeah, that was pretty nice. So I only have around 100 Theodore Blood KC and I need to get that to 500 plus the completion of the Justice R set and the Sanguini staff. So I've been speeding, speeding through them recently and I'm going to use this opportunity to talk about the rank 1 contention and whether I can get rank 1. For a lot of you guys that were asking in the last video and that I mentioned at the start of this video while the drops were on the background. So I'm going to try to keep this detailed and as easy to understand as possible for someone not playing the league. I'm going to try and keep it short but I know it's not going to be so sorry for the ramble. The first piece of info you guys should know is that before the league was released, the JMods were asked on a Q&A if all the tasks available to a person would be able to be completed in the time span of the league. To this, they said something along the lines of there are hundreds of long grind tasks and that they would be surprised if multiple people managed to complete them all in the time span of the league. Uh, this sounded fair to me and it sounded like it would to get rank 1 you'd have to do high efficiency points per hour tasks and this would make the most sense to compete for rank 1 as it wouldn't be it wouldn't be possible to complete all the tasks. Then on release day, we received the task list, points and relics two hours before the release, as they told us we'd only get it two hours before the release, which is fine once again, because they told us. There's absolutely no way, however, people are gonna go through every single region, relic and task and find out the best regions and relics to win within those two hours. I know no one did this because if they had, they would have found out Fremenic, Candor and Mortania, which is a combination, something nobody on the current top page has, because like I said, nobody went in expecting to win based off their regions. They expected to win based off the tasks in the regions and how efficiently they did them. In this screenshot, it lists Framnik as 9,200 points. This is what it was shown to us on that in those two hours, in the release of the league. And it was like this for a week. However, this wasn't the case due to Jax's own miscategorization of the tasks under different regions. Big surprise. It was later reflected to show 9,800 points. However, this isn't even the full story. The unlock of Fremenic also allows the global task of equip a dragon plate body, which is an extra 500 points, making Fremi worth 10,300 points, as well as the global elite task of wearing full dragon, which is another 250 points, putting it up to 10,550. It also allows the equipment of Infernal Axe listed under Asgarnia worth 250 points, making Fremi worth 10,800. And guess what? It also allows you to enter the Myth Guild allowing for another 100 points, making Fremi worth 10,900. Now, remember, in those two hours, it was listed as 9,200. This is almost 2,000 more points than it was originally listed as. Now, I'm saying this with a smile on, on my face and a little giggle in me. I don't know why. I should be very... I, well, no, I am. I am very sad at this. But, yeah, 10,900. That's almost 400 more points than Mauritania. Terror runs a bit like this, but it's not that deep so I won't really get into this. But the longest time task Fremi has is kill 1000 of each DK and kill 750 Vorkath. Now you can kill around 200 DKs an hour with last recall on the relics and it would take you 15 hours to complete the entire task of DKs. And DKs are very difficult. I, guys, I'm sure, I'm sure they're, you know, they're as difficult as Nightmare or, or Top. Now you can also do around 70 Vorkath kills an hour and complete that task in around 11 hours. So a shocking 26 hours to complete the longest time task in Fremi. Crazy. Now comparatively, the longest task in Mortania are Nightmare and the Theater of Blood. It takes around 400 solo kills on average to complete the Nightmare task and wearing the full set, the mace, and a staff with an orb on it. That takes around 80 hours for full completion of that, over twice the amount of time it takes to complete with the long Fremi task of Warcath and DKs. Now to complete Theater of Blood, very, very quick and easy, you only have to complete it 500 times. Even with a world record running team of 5 people getting 4 tubs an hour, and somehow having this team on at all times, it would take 125 hours to get this done, with the best conditions possible. Now, that's probably the best way I can show the extreme difference to you, and I hope you can see past my sarcasm, but this difference in time would still be fine in my eyes, if Mortania actually had more points than Fremi, as it was meant to be, as it was listed as, but the fact Mauritania has 10,520 points accessible that would take hundreds of hours to complete is beatable by Fremi listed as 9,800, originally listed as 9,200, actually having 10,900. Sorry about all those numbers. I hope you followed along. Actually has 10,900 due to its hidden toss. Seem absolutely ridiculous to me, and I hope it seems ridiculous to you guys too. This doesn't even go over the difficulty between the toss either. 
Mortania has things as completing the Sepulchre in under 6 minutes 30. Now, if you guys have ever even attempted the Sepulchre, you'll know that's extremely difficult, especially from my attempts today. This is probably the hardest task in the entire league, and it's not helped by Relics at all, unless you want to count Endless Run, which everyone has. Whereas Fremi has defeat Vorkath in under a minute for 250 points, or in under 45 seconds for 500 points. These Fremi guys all have Tier 1 and the Range Relic, and those tasks are much easier to complete. Once again, they didn't pick Tier 1, uh, Kandarin or Fremi, or Tier 1, Asgarnia and Fremi to win. They picked it because those are the default regions you choose to go for the range relic. I chose the harder content, I knew that going into it, and it doesn't really make sense to me that for choosing the harder content, I'm being punished in terms of points. Being punished in time somewhat makes sense to me because it's now clear that you can actually complete every task in the time available. So uh, if it wasn't like that, I would say that the points for Mauritania should be higher points per hour, but it doesn't really matter if you complete every task in the time available anyway. But doing all that and all that extra hours still to get beaten by the easy and miscategorized points of Fremi makes no sense to me. I guess the overall I guess the overall point I'm making is me and Maz are still in the top 10 to 15 with Mortania, taking hundreds more efficient hours to play to even contend here at all. If we had picked Fremi, we'd not only be ranking one one and two overall, I think it's safe to say we would have completed the game by now. We picked Mortania knowing it was harder but it also showed more points, which just did not turn out to be the case. So unfortunately, the rank 1 dream is over for me. It's mathematically impossible for me to get rank 1, even with all the extra efficient hours we've played. I will still be playing and competing and trying to get rank 1 Mauritania, hold it right to the end, and being rank 1 or 2 in the hardest region possible, with hundreds of more efficient hours played, and the actual rank 1 overall, I guess, is still fine by me, and it made for some sick content for you guys. So I'm still happy with that. It just is a fairly shitty way to actually lose the entire league and a lot of you guys had a lot of hope on me and there's a lot of pressure on me to get rank one not gonna lie but it's not possible so i'll do the best i can okay we're over drop rate for the ring and we haven't yet gotten ourselves the thingy maji the 630 but we have got enough tokens to buy all of the hallowed tools or whatever so that is 100 points right there we've wasted a lot of time doing this but i have been getting tobs and some nightmares in between 68,970 points now for completing the theater of blood 200 times finally over 69k bro 69.2k no purple though fucking shit game god damn give me the sanguine please justy chest guard okay okay i need that thank god bro yeah that's a new item that's actually finally a new item now i just need the legs to complete the justy set it is a purple come on give me the sanguine or the justy legs Yes, let's go! I finished the Justy set. Let's go. That's 500 points, bro. Oh my god, yeah, I only need Sang stuff. Let's toss this on. 500 points, master toss. We're at 6, 9, 7, 20. Jeez. Okay, I messed up quite a bit on this one, but this is a new PB. Honestly, the closest to the 6 3 that we've got. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's looking like a 7 17, if my math is correct. So around 47 seconds off the time I need to get to the 6 30. But I did make a bunch of mistakes. Let's see what the time is actually at. 7.17, new personal best. New personal best for floor 5 as well, and I still messed up on it. 2.50 is not the time you need. Floor 4, I could have saved a lot more time. Floor 3, I could have saved 10 more seconds. Floor 2, I could have saved 6, even more seconds. Floor 1 is slow as well. So, yeah. I could have actually got a 6.30 on that if everything... Well, obviously I can get a 6.30 on everyone if everything goes well. But that is really good for me. A lot of progression right there. So as you can see, my time was still a minute 20 slower than my personal best, but I actually just got a new personal best for my floor 5, so we're making progress on that. We just messed up a bunch on the other floors. As you can see, floor 4, over a minute and 28, se uh, 28 seconds slower. Floor 3, 30 seconds slower. So if we got those two times, god damn. Damn, this is my first 6 minutes. 6 minute 54, I think it's gonna be. Damn, bro. If my uh, floor 4 was good... My floor 3 was fine, it was absolutely tick perfect. Floor 3 was tick perfect, floor 2 was good, floor 1 could have been a little bit quicker. Floor 5, I don't know what my time was. 241, new personal best on that again, 655, Jesus man, 25 seconds off. Damn, I need to cut that down, maybe to 235, but it was probably floor 4 that lost it for me, 25 extra seconds that I shouldn't have got. I just did a 235, a new personal best for my floor 5. I beat it by 6 seconds, Jesus Christ. But my time is only 726 because my floor 4 was terrible. And I think my floor 3 was terrible. 
If those were both tick perfect with that 235, I would have got the 630. Pretty shitty to see. I'm 19 seconds off. That's so depressing, bro. I messed up a lot on floor five. And my floor four wasn't the most optimal floor four for me either. Oh, God, that's depressing. I think that's what, six? That's a new personal best of 649, dude. If I say 15 seconds on floor five. Floor four was actually my best time possible. Okay, never mind. But floor five, if I'd say 15 seconds on there. Floor two, I was six seconds too long. Floor three, I was nine seconds too long. Just a lot of time I could have saved there. But still a new PB of 649. That's so depressing, bro. I got hit once on floor five. I'm 12 seconds off the time. This is gonna be a new PB. This is so depressing, bro. I hate this course so much. As you can see, floor two, I could have saved six seconds on. Floor one's pretty much perfect. Floor three was perfect. Floor four was pretty much perfect too. 642, bro. Oh, damn it. I just got it. First thing in the morning. I just got it. I actually just got it. I just woke up. It's 9 a.m. And I've gotten on to do Sepulcher. I'm freaking out like a little child. But I've just got the 630, bro. Any chance that the ring and the 630 in the same one? No chance. But, oh my fucking god, bro. <laughs> look at my, look at how I've got this, like, this game marked, bro. You think they design content for non-client users? This is disgusting, bro. My shit looks like Roblox. But... We've got it, bro. 337, 623, complete the elite task, the hallowed sepulcher, and 630. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm so hyped. 229. I needed to get a quick floor five because my floor two was very subpar. It was eight seconds too slow. Everything else was pretty much perfect for me, at least. 623. I beat my new P I beat my floor five PBB by six seconds, dude. That is hype. A hundred KC at the Hout's Pulker. I've got in my 630 before the ring, which is, I don't know, it's something. The K, the drop rate is 1 in 66, so I'm 44, 34 over drop rate now. I was really expecting to get it there on a hundred, that would have been nice. But we didn't, so there we go, we carry on. Over 151 kill count, we're on the road to times through the drop rate. I'm having loads of fun. Finally, bro. Finally, it has been done. Look at my fucking agility XP. I'm almost at 75 mil agility XP. I'm pretty sure I'm rank 3 or 4 agility. Ring of Endurance, 167. I got my sub 630 like 70, 80 KC ago. I have no idea. Where the Ring of Endurance, Elite Tossed on, 70,220 points. Finally over the 70,000 mark. Uh, uh, why am I rank 4 agility? I hate this place. So if you guys aren't in the know and you guys are wondering what the thumbnail is about, when I got rank 10, I changed my name to Good Luck I'm Dit because I took over a guy called the Good Luck I'm Tom, poking a little bit of fun, having a little bit of competition. Then when I took over JMW7, I changed my name to JM Who 73 a little bit of fun, a little bit of comparative sp competitive spirit. It is what it is. Now, I guess the people who were in the top couple positions saw I was doing this, didn't want to be next, wanted to have some fun with me. So they all changed their name to Ditter Who's. So yeah, that that was that was something to wake up to. A little bit of fun to wake up into in the morning. Honestly, it's all in good fun. I hope no one has taken any of this too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun between me and the other people competing in the league. Yes, they have Fremmy, so they are cheating. It is what it is. But it is also fun. And yeah, waking up to saying the top five names all be Ditter Who was kind of funny to me. Anyway, towards the end of this video, we've changed our name back to Ditter Bitter. We're now at 70,220 points, tied rank 11 with Maz, who also has 70,220 points. We are both rank 1 Mauritania, and rank 2, or, or rank 3 Mauritania, whatever you guys want to call it, is ages away from us. So, it is what it is, that's where we're going to end off today's video. Got the full Justy set, got Sepulchre done. From now on, all we're really doing is Tob, Nightmare, Inferno, and Clues. And, yeah, we we'll, should have the game completed in a week or two. If you guys have enjoyed this video, Hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys later.